181 people have now been confirmed dead in the sinking of the ferry and 121 others remain unaccounted for. In waters off Korea's southwestern coast where the accident happened, search and rescue operations are now into the 10th day. Not a single survivor has been found since the ferry capsized last Wednesday morning. For the latest, we now go live to our Song Ji Sun at Pen Peng Mok Hang Harbor, just 20 kilometers from the accident site. Ji Sun. Mark, a new morning has arrived, but Thursday was the most important and critical day in terms of search and rescue operation, as the current is expected to get even stronger today again. More bodies have been recovered, and a total of 22 more bodies were recovered from Thursday to this morning, and the death toll now well exceeds the number of survivors, standing at 181, with 121 still missing underwater. The divers focused their search on the third floor where the cafeteria is, but did not recover as many victims as they hoped for. Search also focused on the fourth level of the ship where the cabins of most Tanwan high school students were located. Divers also said there was no air pockets inside the sunken ferry, reducing the chance of possible survivors after the ship submerged completely underwater. The search will continue for the days to come as parents of the missing have requested the ferry not be lifted out of water until every body is recovered from underwater. Mark. And Jisun, we understand that the family's frustration with the search operation has boiled over. There was a row between the parents and the authorities there. Can you tell us more? There was a lot of conflict yesterday. The desperate, angry parents have shown very, very strong distrust against the government, the authorities here, and the search and rescue operations ongoing on the sea. And they sat down with the Oceans Minister and the Chief Commissioner of the Coast Guard from Thursday evening, and they have been talked with them to questioning whether there was enough being done to rescue the students. The parents want more diving distance lines to be installed on the fourth deck of the sunken ferry where most students are expected to be, and they're demanding more civilian divers be brought into the operation. Families of the missing are convinced that the authorities did not go forward with the rescue operation as they had been told, and it's pretty clear at this point that private divers who volunteered to take part in the rescue operation pulled out after conflicting with the Navy and the Marine divers. Parents want them back as they think there are not enough divers out there to go underwater to recover the bodies of their children. There are also allegations that authorities only allowed a certain private company to dive, and that company reportedly has links to ferries operator Chengyeji Marine Company. The Oceans Minister and the Coast Guard Chief say they are doing all they can and are making use of every possible asset, but parents don't believe them anymore. This was Hong Sun reporting live from Pengmokang Harbor in Sindu.